Hi there, I'm Dr. Noelle Nelson, and it is my pleasure to share a few thoughts with you today, some uplifting, inspiring, and practical tips to help you find greater happiness and success in your life. Today's topic, a question of character. Now, character may not be a word you use much in ordinary conversation to describe someone, yet it is tremendously important. For character, you see, is the basis for trustworthiness, yours, and that of the people in your life. When someone with character says they will do something, you can rely on their word. When someone who lacks character says they will do something, eh, maybe they will, maybe they won't. You know, it's not necessarily that they are flaky. They may simply have not developed the muscle that character is. So, your current flame says they will be faithful to you only, and you find them in bed with another. Betrayal, pain. And your lover says, oh, it was nothing, just a physical thing. You're the only one that matters. I, I didn't mean to hurt you. And indeed, that all may be true, but the bottom line is you relied on them to be faithful to you, but your lover lacked character and therefore wasn't able to live up to that promise. Or... Your boss promises you that, raise that promotion if you'll only, please, please, please put in more unpaid overtime. Be part of the team. Oh, forget about your personal life. You go along, relying on the boss's word. And the only raise you get is the number of projects and duties you have to handle. And when you remind your boss, as gently as you can, of their promise, all you get is negative cash flow. Sorry, just hang in there. As soon as things turn around, you're at the top of the list. Right. Your boss lacks character. So how do you know if someone has character, if you can rely on their word, if they are trustworthy? By observation. Don't take for granted that a person is able or willing to follow through on their promises to you. Pay attention. Look to what a person's values are first. If your boss's sole value is profit, then his or her principles will reflect that. Anything to make a buck is likely to be your boss's guiding principle. Your boss will then behave in line with that principle and profit value, if you will, not in accordance with the promises to you, unless, of course, they mean more dollars in their pocket. Your lover, for example, may want to be faithful, but really it's, mm, you know, kind of a generic have fun thing that they have as a principle. So your lover won't be trustworthy in any number of situations because if it's not about having fun, well, uh, maybe they will follow through, maybe they won't. So what to do? Start with yourself. Figure out what is important to you, what you value, and let that guide your behavior. For example, let's say you value respect. You think it's important to respect people. One of the ways you do that is by listening to people when they speak to you. I mean really listening. Another might be, be prompt, respect other people's time, and then develop the muscle of character. Practice genuinely listening to people. Practice being prompt. In other words, live up to your own values, which are your promises to yourself. And little by little, you will become a person of character. And as that happens, you will become more attuned to other people of character. Soon, you will find your life is filled with trustworthy people. And what a nice life that will be. Thank you for listening to Up. And check out my new book, Phoenix Rising, Surviving Catastrophic Loss, Fires, Floods, Hurricanes, and Tornadoes, as well as my website, if you'd like more uplifting, inspiring, practical tips and techniques. And that website is noelnelson.com. Or take a look at my Meet the Amazings Facebook page. And until next time, be well and take care.